Hey guys, welcome to day 22 of our Disney Nail Art Challenge. Today we are going to do Lock, follow the next day by Shock and Barrel. If you haven't already joined us in the Facebook group, the link is in the description below. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do so. The link is literally underneath the video. Let's get going with Lock! So we're going to start off with our white paint. And we're going to paint a long, skinny, upside down triangle with slightly curved edges. Once you're happy, you can then fill that in. Then down in the bottom half of his head, we're going to give him little ears. And they're just the little rectangle that poke out of either side of his head. Then we're going to give him his little shirt. So we're going to start by outlining his chin. Then we're going to do a little curve out towards the edge of the nail. On both sides. And then we're going to give a little curve in underneath on both sides just to show off where his t-shirt would end. And once you're happy you can fill that in. Then we're going to take a slightly darker red and we're going to give him his two horns on the top of his head. So we're literally just curving these around, out to the side and then up into a point. And we're doing the same thing on both sides and filling them in as we go. Then you can go ahead and add a second layer of colour to anywhere that needs it. Then we're going to take our bright red and we're going to give them spiky hair. So these are just little tiny triangles all the way around his head across the top and a little bit down the sides. You don't want it to go all the way down to his ears. You want a, a bit of a gap between his ears and his hair. Then we're going to take our black and we're going to outline his horns. Then continuing on with our black. 
we're going to outline his little shirt and we're going to do little black squiggly lines in straight lines all the way down. Then we're going to take some yellow paint and we're going to do his eyes. So these are kind of like little narrow triangles. And I have also mixed a little bit of white into my yellow to make it a little bit more opaque. If you've got quite an opaque yellow you don't need to mix any white in. And we're going to do his eyes a little bit over his ears on both sides. The eye on the left needs to be slightly bigger than the eye on the right. And then we're going to take our black paint and we're going to outline his head and his ears. Now we're going to keep going with our black and we're going to start the outline over his eyes. So we want him to look evil and creepy. So we're going to give him one eye that's a little bit bigger than the other. So we're going to outline the triangle that we painted for his eye and make it a little bit curvier on the outside than it is on the inside. And then this eye is going to be similar but smaller. Then we want to give him two really big inquisitive eyebrows. So really curvy eyebrows. The one on the left again being bigger than the one on the right. You can kind of follow the shape of the eye for the shape of the brow. Then either using your brush or a dotting tool, you can give him his little black pupils, right in the centre of his eyes. Then we're going to paint in his long nose. So you want to start off closer to the eye on the right hand side, do a little curve down and then loop around. And then a little curve on the left hand side just to show off the other side of his nose. Then we need to give him his big mischievous grin. So right from over here on the left hand side we're going to wrap around a big kind of half a smile to underneath his nose. And then we're going to drag that right down into his chin area and wrap it back up into a big grin and then you're going to fill that in. Then 
Now we're going to give him his little line over his mouth to show off the fold in his cheek. And then little squiggles into each of his ears just to show off the folds of the ear. Then we're going to go around the outline of his hair and we're just going to outline all of it in black, only touching off his head at the very start and the very end. And then taking our white, we're going to do little dots along the top of his mouth and the bottom of his mouth to show off his teeth. You can use a dot and tool for this rather than a brush if you prefer. And then all you need to do is top coat, cure and enjoy. So guys, thank you so much for joining me on day 22. Tomorrow we are going to do shock. If you haven't already subscribed, there is a button on your screen right now for you to press to subscribe to the channel and I would really appreciate it if you could do that for me. And if you like the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. That's all for me for today, guys. See you tomorrow.